One day, I just looked up and said, wonderful Jesus, I have nothing. I have nothing to give you but my love. That's all that I can give you. And I love you with all my heart. And I give you my body as a living sacrifice. If you can take nothing and use it, then here's nothing. It isn't silver vessels that he's asking for. It isn't golden vessels that he needs. He just needs you. Ever seen God the Father? No, not really. Not really. But God the Father is as real to me as my earth like half of me. And I know that he loves me. And I can come before his throne and say, Father, my heavenly Father, you say to me, have you ever seen me? Oh, how <laughs> There have been experiences. When I felt if I would turn very quickly, I would his purpose. He's so real to me. But I'll tell you something that you may not understand. I have no picture of Jesus in my room. And I'll tell you why. No artist brush has ever done just to the face of the one whom I love and adore. To put his face on canvas. The greatest artist in the world could never paint the face. My Lord. <laughs> More real to me than any human being I've ever known. Say to me, have you ever seen the Holy Spirit? You talk of your absolute dependence upon you. <laughs> His glorious anointing. And his wonderful power. Have you ever seen the Holy Spirit? Let me ask you something. Have you ever seen the wind? Our astronauts have been to the moon. They have walked on the moon. If we were to ask any one of them, tell us, 
You've seen great things, but have you ever seen the wind? And they would shake their hands. For no man, no woman has ever seen the wind. And yet, you feel the devil breathe. Can you see the mighty force? You can say it in the wind has done not so. Do you see the result of the force to the wind? No man. No. I have not seen Dr. Richard. Oh, I have buried his face. I have buried his face. I have buried his wonderful, wonderful. Thank you.
head bowed a moment. I must follow him. I must follow him. I must follow you. While I was speaking to someone who did a beautiful thing for a heart condition, I did not dare he would not want me to have stopped. But somebody who's healed of a heart condition, you're away up in the balcony, you're not even here on the main floor. You go back to your doctor and you'll find out you receive that complete healing for a heart condition. You may not understand it. Some of you folks may not understand that which you see and experience today. Don't try to understand that you can't manage. Lies the power of God, the supernatural power of the Holy Ghost. Know that. Sitting very near that same person up in the balcony is someone with sugar diabetes. The quiet I was speaking, the power of the Holy Spirit went through your body and you've been completely healed of sugar diabetes. Completely every trace of the sugar has left that body. You must understand it. I would not try to explain it to you because I don't know. I only know the great power of this person. The great force of the Holy Spirit. I worship this in that same group, it is a group of five or six of them. There's somebody that has their close angels in that same group, and you find that your legs, the skin is just as smooth as it can be. If you reach down, you'll find that all the very close things have left that leg of yours. I do not know whether that group of five or six are acquainted or not. I only know that the power of the Holy Spirit is up there. There's another up there. I worship your wonderful Jesus. There's somebody from that same group that gets these migraine headaches. You'll find out the power of God gone through your body of yours. You'll never again have another migraine. It's a group right up there in the balcony. It's the power of the Holy Ghost that has gone through that body. I give you praise. I worship your wonderful Jesus. I give you praise. I give you glory. There's somebody behind me who's had a a heart condition. You'll find out that every trace of condition has left that body of yours. The very minute that you find out that you've been healed, come and give testimony to it in honor to the Lord, whatever you do. The minute that you find out you've been healed, the very second, come and give praise unto the Lord and thank Him for it. There's somebody behind me with a heart condition. Where are you? Just now, just put up that hand. There's somebody behind you with a heart condition. Where is it? Come here if you will, please. The power of the Holy Ghost is going to see this body. I give you a pain to the power of the Holy Ghost is going to see this body. Wonderful. <laughs> That's what happened to Paul on the road out here. That's exactly what happened to Paul on the road out here. Get it. 
come all the way from Florida, USA, to Israel to get her healing. She's going to throw it away. All right, there it is. There's another neck that is completely loosened. There is still another neck. I don't, know, I, I don't know who that man is, but the power of God's on him, that's all that I know. Come quickly, if you will, please. Here's a lady from Singapore. Had just received the healing for her leg. Is that a big money? For how long? More than 10 years. This lady from Singapore.
from God, but I, he got more than expected, I'll tell you that. tells me that he's had a heart condition for over five years and that before this he couldn't walk up and down stairs he's just been out in the back running up and down and he's not getting shorter breath Catherine mentioned that there was a healing in the balcony of a heart condition. I felt strangely warmed, and I tried running up the stairs, and I didn't get out of breath. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Where do you go to church? Methodist church. Another Methodist. Dear Jesus, oh, keep running, my brother.
shall never be the same again.
This is that to which Jeremiah spoke. This is that of which Ezekiel spoke. In the last days I will pour out of my spirit on all flesh. I give you praise, wonderful Jesus. I give you glory. I give you praise. I give you glory. And here it has been opened with ears. Hold on with your blue, please. Another ear out there in the audience. Hold your ear tightly closed. Oh, stand up if you can. I don't think you can. Oh, no. What the devil is That's the new wine of the Spirit. Just out here, not very far from here, some of our relatives were accused of being drunk, but it was only the ninth hour. <laughs> How many know what I'm talking about? Put a man. This is the new wine, the wine of the Spirit. She can't believe it. That's all right, honey. Shoes or no shoes. Weren't expecting all this, were you? Are you from South Africa? Here is one from South Africa. The whole time that I was speaking, she only heard three sentences of what I said. She's been so deaf in both ears. She's been so deaf. I understand that she is related to Dr. Where are you? Where is Dr. Come here, come here, if you will, Doctor. Come here, please. Are you hearing me perfectly as I speak? Do you hear me perfectly now? Do you hear me now? Do you hear me perfectly? Yes, I don't know from a distance. Come here. Walk at a distance over there. Walk, walk over there, just a little. Do you hear me now? Do you hear me now? Do you hear me now? Do you still hear me? Come here. Doctor, is she related to you? Tell the people. Who, who is she? She is my fifth brother in the nine brothers, the middle one. She's his wife. Verify this, Doctor. She's been dead how long? I don't know how long, but for a long time she has suffered from her ears. And nothing could help, not the operations or nothing has improved it. This is God's doing. Oh, my goodness, my brother, my brother, the Lord, God, thank you, so Thank you, Doctor, thank you, thank you. Come on, come on. We give you praise, dear Jesus. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. That's power. That's power. This is that gift that Jesus gave to his church. I give you praise. I give you glory, wonderful Jesus, what's happening. I know. Honey, better sit down someplace. She'll never make it down there. She's going to lose the new wife. Sit down someplace. What is it? Polio. Lady, has had polio for three years and seven months, and she's never been able to walk without these crutches. She's been walking all around. Not been able to walk, and not been able to take a 
She's not been able to move her leg without pain in her hip, and she had a limited range of motion. Now it's completely loose, and there's no pain, and it just happened since the service began. around the world. Hospital in the United States is one of the greatest 
Hospital. This man is on the staff of John Hopkins Hospital. And the reason he got interest in his ministry, his own little girl was healed. When medical science could do nothing for his own little girl, his own little girl was healed by the power of God, just like people are getting healed here today. That's right, Ms. Coleman. And this is real. Tell about the gentleman here. What is it? This gentleman had a mastoid operation when he was very young. And as a result of that, they perforated the eardrum, which is sometimes unavoidable in surgery. And he has not been able to hear, but occasionally a little bit out of that ear. Since the service began, now he can hear out of that ear. I checked him out over in the corner. He can hear a whisper. And even I was surprised. <laughs> Can you hear me now? I hear you now. Do you hear me now? Yes, I hear you now. Do you hear me perfectly? I hear you perfectly. Where are you from? Michigan. Where do you go to church? First Baptist, Monroe, Michigan. He threw a Baptist in for good measure. Do you hear me perfectly out of that ear? Yes. Do you hear me now? I hear you now. I hear you now. Yes, you're whispering. I hear you now. Are you surprised? This man is shocked. Dear Jesus, your thanks is all we can say is just thanks, dear Jesus. Just thanks. We give the out for every day. Amen. What is this over here? What is this, honey? Thank you. A bat. Bend over right now. Just bend. Well, there's nothing wrong with your back. You go to your doctor, your blind man will give you a clean deliver. Bend over again. Is there no pain there? No. Then see the suspense, suspense of how God holds his body. Put it over here. Lady, Finland, she does not speak English. She's an interpreter. She had a head uh, a migraine headache. And her breathing is normal now. She's the one that you call from the balcony. From the balcony. She's from Finland, does not speak this English. Young lady will interpret. And it's a healing for my brain headache. Dear Jesus, just thank you, the power of God has gone to this body, just thank you, dear Jesus. And through this body, the soul of power of God. And you can't understand me, and I can't understand you. But dear Jesus, the Holy Spirit is so what is this over here? Another lady from Finland. Another lady from Finland. What is this? A heart condition. A heart condition. Dear Jesus, right now, put in this body a brand new physical heart. <laughs> this is soon going to be happening all over Finland, I'll tell you that. barbiturates and narcotics and they would not relieve the pain. He sat down and listened to the entire service. He has been back to his doctor and there is nothing wrong. And this he is, is a Catholic. He is a Catholic minister. A Catholic minister. I came from the United States to give witness to this woman. He said he has come to, from the United States to give this witness. Were you instantly healed? It was before your service. Yeah, hold up, hold up, somebody hold up. That's real. Just 
this message. We hope it has been a blessing to you. For information about thousands of helpful messages such as this one, available for lending on a free or voluntary donation basis, write to us at the Springs of Living Water Tape Library, Post Office Box 32636, Spring Lake Park, Minnesota, 55432. Your prayerful and financial support of this ministry is also welcome and greatly appreciated.